This video is going to teach you everything that you need to know about proteins. Uh, the first thing that we're going to talk about is what a protein is. Uh, first, uh, proteins obviously are found in food, that's why we're talking about them in the nutrition unit. Uh, if you're familiar at all with chemistry or with the different elements in science class, proteins are made up of carbon, hydrogen, oxygen, and nitrogen. Uh, they're also referred to as the building block of the body. So if we think about all of our different body tissues and organs that we have, or uh, maybe when you're in the weight room, you think about uh, your building muscle, uh, protein is a key factor in all of those different things. Uh, it's also known as a macronutrient, which means that it's a source of calories and a source of energy for the body. Uh, some specific things that proteins do, so functions that they have, uh, the biggest one is that they're responsible for growth and repair of body tissues and cells. So if you think about uh, yourself when you went through a growth spurt, uh, or maybe when you've done some exercise, you've felt some muscle soreness, uh, proteins are responsible for that repair of your body tissue if you uh, maybe ripped apart some muscles in the weight room in order to make them stronger. Uh, they're also, again, important for uh, when you're growing. Some other things that they do are they form antibodies, which are important for fighting off illness, and they're involved in a lot of different hormonal reactions uh, in the creation of those hormones in your body. Uh, some different categories of proteins, there's uh, ones that are known as complete proteins. Uh, basically, what you guys need to understand is that there's things in your food that are called essential amino acids, uh, and the ones that are from animals contain all of the amino acids that are necessary for your body. So the picture below has a variety of different foods like uh, beef products, I think there's a steak in there, uh, some chicken, pork chops. Uh, again, all of those things would be considered complete proteins. They're good sources of all amino acids that your body needs. Uh, some other proteins that you can eat are called incomplete proteins. And basically what that means is that they lack at least one of these essential amino acids. Uh, they're usually good sources of protein still, but again, not quite as good as meat, but if you're uh, eating a variety of them, you can get the things that you need. And uh, examples of those incomplete proteins, you can see there's a, a bowl of different kinds of nuts. Uh, there's some legumes, which are dried beans and peas. Uh, seeds are a great source of incomplete proteins, along with whole grains. So if you notice, uh, the grains will be whole wheat bread. Uh, there's some brown rice in there, along with whole wheat pasta. Uh, some things that you need to know number-wise when it comes to protein. Uh, a lot of people think that protein should be an extremely large part of your diet, which uh, is something that many people are actually kind of uh, believing by mistake. Uh, this is actually should only be between 10 and 35 percent of your daily diet. And obviously, depending on uh, your own personal goals or what kind of sports you're in, uh, that's a huge range. If you're somebody who is interested in increasing your muscle mass, you want to be closer to that 35%, where a lot of us can get everything that we need from protein uh, just using that 10% number. Uh, when you're trying to figure out how many calories you have of protein in, in a food, uh, there are four calories per gram. So if you were ever to look at a food label and see the grams of protein, you could easily figure out how many calories were from that protein. Uh, before I mention the term amino acids, again, uh, those are things that are found in protein-rich foods. Uh, they're basically just a lot of uh, different links uh, that make up proteins. They're uh, again, very many different kinds. There's 20 amino acids that your body needs. 
Uh, some of them actually are made or produced by your body, but there's nine of them that must come from your diet. So when we looked at the foods that were rich in protein, again, uh, the ones that are complete proteins would have all nine of those amino acids, where the incomplete ones would be lacking at least one. Uh, that's all you need to know about proteins. You can now do the activities at your station.